What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are finally getting the 5,500 gallon pond started, taking steps further towards completion so we can finally get our fish moved. And we're also getting something really, really cool for the saltwater tank, so stick along. Hello, kids. What's going on, children? Same old day here at the farm. You know, all the animals gotta eat, of course. You've seen them eat. You probably, if you're new here. I'm Paul. Hi, welcome. And this is the farm, and you've got a lot to catch up on if you're new. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Hey, Lulu, what's going on, mama? That is the mom of all these. Well, not all of them, besides these three little ones right here. You guys want to eat, I know. What, what else would you want to do? Your pigs. There you go. Ready, ducks? I've grown to love this cichlid pond a lot. They're nearly trained to come up to my fingers when I put my fingers in the water, which I love so much because you can finally see them all through the clear side of the pond. This though, yesterday we cleaned this entire 5,500 gallon pond. It's actually coming off a lot easier than I thought. Look at it all. Look at all that dust. Fiberglass dust. How long have you been waiting to do this? Uh, six months. A solid six months. I'm gonna continue to spray all around the pond, and then once we spray all around, you can see the, the water is now nasty. We'll pump all the water out, spray again, do the same thing until the water's clear, pump all the water out, let it dry, and then we can paint the whole pond this color. Right here, because that's the goal. We want the entire pond, all the dark blue, to be that blue. That's all sand from Rodrigo's saltwater pond. <laughs> So this is the process with cleaning out this pond. It's a lot more work than it looks like. As you can see, the walls are much cleaner than they were before. What we gotta do is get all the junk to the bottom, all this sand right here from the saltwater pond. But all of this, we're gonna shop back out, and then spray down again, and then shop back out, and then do it again and again, until all this stuff at the bottom is out. Then we get these towels, and we wipe down the sides and the bottom. And then after that, once this is all dry, we just gel coat over everything, and the pond is done. The outside of it has the dust on it. We're gonna have to wipe with like wet cloths. And then this is all gonna get a new paint job of jet black, like the blackest of black. That exact look will be all of this, which will really enhance the window view with this lighter background inside. The fish will just be popping. Nice couch like this right here, so you can look right in. Get rid of this uh, PV, I don't even know what this is. Get rid of this. Get rid of all that right there. We're gonna make it real nice. But the pond itself, is looking good, much cleaner. Almost as clean as all the tanks. I just cleaned out every single tank and Windex the outside glass. Every tank is siphoned out, cleaned, even this one. Clean, clean, clean. I mean everything. Hey, little map turtle. Everything is sparkling clean. Mata mata. Hey buddy, you just love sitting in that one spot, huh? I got a bunch of fish in here if you could find them. See the little bluegills in there? They're tiny. I caught a bunch of live fish and I put them all in here so he can catch them on his own. I do want to get some bigger colorful fish that he can catch too as well, but this is the Mata Mata tank and it looks fantastic. Right buddy? He's so big. This thing is truly a dinosaur. It is incredible how big this Mata Mata is. Such a weird looking turtle. Let's see if he goes up under his little hole. We are looking good! So much better, like this side is completely dry, all the sand and everything off the edge. Only a little bit of water left, right here. And this whole thing is done. Now that this pond is clean, we are ready to paint it and get things started over there. Over here though, this tank's looking a little dry. As you can see, the, all the fish, are, this is exactly what I mean. Where did they all just go? There's one. They're literally all gone. Give it a sec, they'll come back out. Aha, I got three of you. There's another one in here somewhere. There's a little hole back there that they're going into. See that? So we have four of those fish, and then two of the chocolate chip starfish right there. All in all, little by little, I've been adding really, really cool stuff to this little saltwater tank. And today we're going to the fish store to buy something else for this. No idea what it is, but that's what we're on the hunt for. We never really know what we're gonna find. Let's go. Never pulled up to a fish store in a Lamborghini before. <laughs> it's rented, don't worry, I don't have that much money, trust me. We rented it for a special occasion, and that occasion is this video. I don't know why I rented it, to be honest with you. Impulse. And very impulse. We're here at Mark's Art. One of my favorite pet stores. See, these would be really cool. A little snowflake eel, some ribbon eels. I don't know what this is, this is a banded. Ribbons are in here. But there's some really cool eels. We might have to come back to those right there. Giant shiners. Shiners? Those yeah, are giant dude. shiners? You know what those are? 
shiners. No, they're called Bala Sharks. Oh. Uh, yeah, they're actually really cool though. Shiners. We can get these fish and then title the video, We Bought Sharks. Let's do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> look at the Bala Sharks though, they are beautiful. I love how dark they are. They do look like big shiners though, I'm not gonna lie. That looks exactly like a big shiner. Some big old cichlids. Which we're gonna have many of these guys here soon. You saw our cichlid pond, it's doing good. But you saw the last time I was here, there's nothing in this tank compared to last time where we bought the knife fish. Some Goldilocks over here, right above. Iridescence look like they're a little sick right now. He's probably getting those cured up. This is all salt water over here, which you guys know I've been here many, many times. Look at the colors on that goldfish, Dave. Wow. That one's super, super pretty. Big old silver dollars, check these out. I feel like every time we come here, there's more and more to see. Little tiger Oscar. Hey buddy, what's going on? I have many of you. What's in this bag? Oh, a bunch of snails. A bunch of snails. Angel fish. That's a cool way to feed them. They got the live black worms and that little like, and they just eat right on it. More tucker. All the new fish. And there they go. For everyone to buy. They have some really cool saltwater fish. It's gonna be a hard decision. It is gonna be a hard decision. I'm not exactly sure what I want to get. We just came over to the fish store because our smaller saltwater tank's looking a little bit dull. What can I say? It looks dull. We have four green and blue chromas. A little emperor snapper. Oh my gosh. Look at how tiny he is. He's like the size of my fingernail. My goodness, he's small. These triggers, I'm not going to lie, these trigger fish, oh, well, that one just hid. They're really cool too. But I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling the eel, dude. I'm feeling an eel. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, look at him go through. He just went through from this one to that one. He's like, they were looking for him over here, so I'm gonna go this way so they can't catch me. <laughs> starfish? Yeah, that tank, yep. The only thing is, they're very small. There's no way these eat the few fish that I do have in there. Otherwise, I'd be afraid because snowflake eels at some point will grow big enough to then eat my fish. But for now, I mean, as long as they're well fed, I shouldn't have any problems with a snowflake eel of that size. It's like literally four or five inches eating anything like this. These things are so crazy. They sit at the surface of the water. Isn't that nuts? Those are interesting. Really, really interesting fish. Some angel fish, and then on the other side is some mollies. David, these are feeder gold. These are feeder goldfish. It's the biggest goldfish I've ever seen. Yeah. Those are massive goldfish. That's what happens to a feeder goldfish if you let it grow or release it into the wild, hence why that's illegal. I think I know what I want. You know, I know we do a lot, a lot of store buying fish videos. We're switching it up. We're buying an eel. I'm gonna buy a snowflake eel. It's been long enough, years and years and years, I've always wanted one. I think with the size fish I have, we're totally fine. That right there. That right there. That, that right, that right. Would you look at that? Would you just take a look at it? Would you look at that? Would you look at it? $39.99. Oh yeah. That's the first one I've actually purchased. I'm excited. Dude, that thing is so cool. That is awesome. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Wow. It's nice and oxygenated, huh? Got to from there. He'll be breathing for four years with that. <laughs> it's good for about two days in there, isn't it? We did get a snowflake eel, and I want you guys to name it down in the comments down below. So drop some names. I'm going to go through them, and we'll pick it in one of the upcoming videos. <laughs> that is awesome, bro. I am so pumped for this. We literally got... The coolest size eel you could probably get. I'm not even gonna keep it in the bag. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful snowflake eel. And he's all hyped up right now. I mean, these things are awesome. And we're gonna tell you a couple facts about the snowflake eel when we do get back to the fish building. But for now, he's gonna take a little ride home and I'll see you in the fish building. Let's go. We are back and we got an eel. Look how cool that thing is. That is so awesome. Snowflake eel. We're gonna put them in for acclimation. One second, I need two hands. Whoop. There it goes, acclimating eel. And now some facts about the snowflake eel while we're waiting for him to acclimate. How long does the snowflake eel typically live? This right here says, snowflake eel has been known to live up to 15 years or older in captivity. That is crazy, 15 plus years. That's nuts. They're carnivores, meaty foods, including krill, shrimp, silver sides, which is probably what their diet's gonna be here, cut up silver sides, and octopus meat. How big do snowflake eels get? The snowflake eel, also known as the snowflake moray eel, clouded moray, or starry moray, well, there's a whole bunch of names for these guys, huh? Is one of the most beautiful morays. 
that's a fact. To answer the question of how big they can get, in the wild they can grow up to 39 inches. Most captive specimens will not exceed 24 inches, so about two feet. That's still crazy big. On to the next. They are from Hawaii, southward to Australia, westward through the islands of the Indo-Pacific to the Eastern Indies, and across the Indian Ocean to the coast of Africa. Goodness gracious, these eels are everywhere. The snowflake eel, fellas. That's a little bit of facts about the eel we just got prior to releasing him into this new tank. I'm excited. I hope, the only thing I'm hoping for, and I might have to put a cover over this, I know they're escape artists, but at the same time, you see this right here? This is about this far off the edge. But if he was to like straight out of the water, he can get through this mesh maybe? I, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It does have a lid though, so we'll just hope this eel stays in this dang thing. <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't decide to go through one of these too. That's another thing I was thinking. But I guess it's the only way, one way to find out. That's one way to, you know what I'm trying to say. One way to find out, right? Let's get this sucker in. Action, it is time to get our eel into its new tank. Let's do it. I'm gonna sure. let him squirm out. I'm gonna let him squirm out. Yeah. Look at him in the back. See him back there? He's gonna find that rock hole that the fish were in and he's just gonna go right into that hole and never be seen again. And he's not gonna fill the tank in at all, which was our goal. Looks like we need to buy more. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at him though, he is beautiful. That is one beautiful eel right there. And he's just a little baby, he's very, very small. I would say, if I had to guess, he's probably about six inches long. And he's very thin, so. Little eel, he just found a hole, he just found a hole. Look at him, look at him, look at the hole. Look at that hole he's in right there. See him behind the rock? I always enjoy making videos like this because me and David even, have such a great time going to these stores and just looking around like, what do we get today? We have this massive fish building. Obviously that would fit in one of these tanks and the eel was the pick for today and I could not be happier with the snowflake eel. He's got like a little hole back there. Look at that. The starfish are literally placed perfectly sideways on the rock. But yeah, this eel is just chilling and I think this little rock right here is what he likes. That's like his little home so far. He's been wrapping himself up, hiding in that little hole Right there, his face is popping up over here. I see you! The real question is, what the heck do we name this eel, Caferos? So you gotta let me know down in the comments down below so that I can go down there, pick a name, and then part of the fish building, what I wanted to do is I got this like, I don't know, label maker, that's the word. That's the word, label maker. I got this label maker so that every single tank, I have the species and then the name of what we have inside the tank, which would be really, really cool for people that come and visit or for the one PC member that gets to be flown out once a year, if you're a PC member. Eight exclusive videos every single month, also down in the link in the description. Become a PC member, promise you won't regret it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna type down like all the names and the species uh, on this, on the glass of every single tank. So that's another really cool thing we'll be doing here in the fish building. Uh, there's so much to come. There is truly so much to come, it is incredible. And uh, yeah, Pharaohs. What can I say other than just keep watching, sticking along. I appreciate everyone that supports these videos. Watch this as if you're living this life with me. All these fish, animals, they're all yours too. We're a big, big family. We're a giant family. I love each and every one of you so much. Check out the merch, top link in the description. But there's a bunch of really, really cool shirts on the website, paulkfellbrand.com. That is also linked down below. I'll see you right back here. In the very next video, my boy Brenton's gonna be in town. Let's go. Oh, I didn't say peace. Oh. What am I doing? How do I forget to do the outro I do every single day? Peace.